to my channel it is your girl shay for those of you who are new here and today as y'all can tell from the title i'm going to be showing y'all how i was able to do my own silk press and as you can see i'm literally fresh out of a wig install i even have a little shadow around my little forehead which is very annoying but anyways um i'm gonna attempt to do my own trim and my own silk press now it's been about a year since hell probably over a year since i've done or added any heat to my hair so this should be interesting but i'm just at a point to where i want to learn how to maintain my natural hair instead of hiding it so i just want to take y'all along with me and show y'all how i was able to achieve this look okay and as y'all can probably tell my ends are literally tragic right now it's been about two years since i've had a trim and a year and a half since i've added heat so yeah let's just see how this goes First things first, I feel like the most important thing is how and what you use to wash your hair when it comes to a silk press. And I'm going to be showing y'all the shampoo and conditioner. But right now, I am just making sure I thoroughly rinse out my hair and get all of that excess glue off of my forehead and my ends. And just make sure I really just get as much off as I can before shampooing. So for my conditioner, I'm going to be using this Moist Plus Shampoo, and this is by Straight Quest. Now, this is a shampoo that's specifically geared towards silk presses, and y'all, it is amazing. It makes your hair super soft, and it thoroughly cleanses it. It is a little bit more expensive. I believe I showed this in my shower routine. I use it anyway, um, even when I'm not doing silk presses, because I just love how it makes the texture of my hair feel. But I'll have this linked in the description box, but I highly recommend this for silk pressing. I believe this is what most beauticians use for silk presses anyway so i give it a 10 out of 10 a link will be in the description box but yeah i'm just making sure i am thoroughly cleansing my hair especially after a wig install y'all know how it can be a little messy down there after you take a wig off so i'm just making sure my ends are clean with no more glue on them and just making sure i get it all taken care of now the conditioner i use is also by straight quest and it is the power i think it's the k60 I want to say K60, the Power K60 Conditioning Shampoo. Now, this stuff is crack for your hair, okay? Like, when I tell you, it only takes literally 60 seconds to make your curls pop and just make it so easy to detangle your hair. I recommend this over any other detangler for natural hair. doesn't matter what hair type you have, baby. This conditioner is the goat. You can leave it in even longer if you like, if you want extra softness, but it literally only takes 60 seconds don't need a detangler all you need is this conditioning shampoo right here so as you can tell it made it a whole lot easier for me to just be able to run my fingers through my hair and get all of those knots out now we're moving on to our next step and that is blow drying and i am not even gonna lie to y'all blow drying is my least favorite thing to do on this planet probably it is just annoying i know it's important especially when you're about to add heat to your hair but it's just my least favorite thing to do honestly but yeah i am just honestly taking little sections of my hair well they, they're really not that little i'm kind of taking just any section i can find in my hair and just blow drying it because that's what we gotta do and i be trying to get it over with so i don't do it in little sections like i probably should be but i don't think it matters that much as long as your hair is dry but this is just how i do it Mm -hmm. 
So I ended up starting at the back of my hair, of course. Um, I just put the rest up in like a little bun or something, or I tried to at least. And then I'm just gonna hit it with some heat protectant. This is Bio Silk. I got it from Marshalls for like $8. Just a little drop. Hit that kitchen with it real good. And then we're just gonna get to straightening it. So from this point, I'm kind of just trimming as I go. So whenever I comb through my hair and once I get towards my ends, if I feel like a little resistance, that's how I can kind of tell when it's time to cut, if that makes sense. I'll try to get a better angle of it because I know this is like the lower part of my hair. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of just how I tell when I should cut. It's just like that little stopping point that I get to with the comb. And then from there, I like to just go through with my little hot comb just to make sure that we got those hair follicles up in there straightened out, the little naps or whatever. Okay, so you can kind of tell a little bit better right here. I reached that resistance point, so I just cut. And I'm also trying to be mindful and make sure that I'm cutting about the same amounts from each side of my hair or each section rather. And I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was gonna be a lot harder than what it was, but I really think it was the conditioner that helped a lot along with this hot comb that just made it so easy for my hair to be straightened. And I know it may look like on camera that I'm adding a lot of heat to my hair. I'm trying not to, but being that I am natural and I don't add heat to my hair often, it is gonna take a little bit more for it to be straight and stay straight. Y'all really don't even want to know how many times I burned myself with this damn hot comb during this video, child, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> And also, I wouldn't recommend adding a whole lot of oil to your hair because I feel like if anything, it's going to make your hair heavy and not give your silk press that bounce that it usually you should have. So I would say try to stick with something light. Um, that's why I do recommend the Bio Silk because it does protect your hair and it also doesn't make it super oily either. Okay, so at this point, we're getting somewhere. She got a little flow to her, a little bounce, but I still feel like I probably should have cut a little bit more off of my hair, honestly. But I'm not a professional, so I'm not even gonna try to give myself no big chop like that. I'm gonna just stick to what I think looks good at the moment. And then if I feel like later in the future, I need to cut a bit more off, I'm, I might go back and do it. But for right now, I think we're at a pretty good stopping point when it comes to the cutting. Can you stay up all 
So once I finish straightening my hair, I like to go back through with the hot comb and just kind of go over my hair one more time to make sure it's straight, straight. Okay, so this is the end result, and I honestly feel like this is as straight as it's gonna get for my hair as of right now until I train it basically to be straight since I am fully natural. But yeah, I'm just playing around with it. It's giving what it's supposed to give. Uh, I'm not completely sure what I wanna do with it from this point, but I'm kinda into it. So yeah. Look, I think I tried to do a side part, baby. I don't even know at this point, but. It was fluffy, it felt bouncy, it felt healthy, and it was straight for the most part, so that's all I cared about. But, yeah. That was it for this video. I want you guys to let me know how you think I did in the comment section. And again, thank you so much for watching. Drop any suggestions that you have for natural hair down below. And I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next video. <laughs>